More Americans trying to save during the recession. There's a new study, study that shows more people are turning to the dollar stores Researchers, for yeah, oh, groceries. I'm sorry, I cut you off there, there, Heather. Researchers at Tufts University say that dollar stores are becoming the fastest growing food retailers in all of the United States. So who mm -hmm. does this impact specifically? You're thinking about households headed by persons of color, mm -hmm. uh, also rural areas and persons that have lower income. It's impacting them the most, according mm -hmm. to this study. Right. In some cases, anywhere between five and percent, five and ten percent of the groceries that they buy, five to ten percent of their food budget mm -hmm. is happening at dollar stores. And you can, you know, if you've been to a dollar store, we we go there a lot. We, we you know, that. we and we, you know, we use them for toys and party favors and all that stuff. But you'll notice it's not fruits and vegetables right. there. Those mm -hmm. are quite limited in a lot of them, but it's a lot of prepackaged goods that have fewer nutrients, have higher calories. So mm -hmm. researchers are saying, look, this is, it's not a huge amount, just five to 10%, but it's the fastest growing amount. Right. So we need to look at this and pay attention. You mm -hmm. think about areas that have a food desert, right? Mm -hmm. That do not have, you know, rural they don't areas, have a, yeah, rural right? areas, yeah. exactly, that do not have a grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of times, a convenience store will move in there. A dollar store will move yep. in there. So all of a sudden, no, there's no longer a food desert, but that does not mean that the food that's being put in there is the most nutritious food. As you just mentioned, mm -hmm. you're not getting those fruits. You're not getting those vegetables. I wonder so, if they would consider maybe, you know, eventually if it's growing, that they mm -hmm. would put, you know, a Expanding section. Expanding it or something? A little bit. You know, maybe have, you know, a fruit section, something along those lines to give, you know, options. I will say this. So down in the south and the southeast, I lived in Tennessee, right. and Dollar General is located in Tennessee, just mm -hmm. outside of Nashville. Mm -hmm. And they have a rule that if they see, for example, a grocery store or another convenience store within a certain distance, mm -hmm. they will not go there, period. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you know, if, if there is a rural area, for example, and they do want to go there, mm -hmm. they'll put it there. And then a lot of the co competitors will see it too and say, well, there's a Dollar General there. We're not going to put our footprint there because mm -hmm we're going to be competing with them. Right. So if they're going to be putting in those stores, mm -hmm. for example, all of a sudden that right. knocks out your ability to get some of the more nutritious food mm -hmm. that you would typically see in a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's one of the arguments also against some of these dollar stores. So, you know, we've heard this argument before with, with Walmarts mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and Targets and that too. But Riley, I think it's, you know, it's a good question because dollar stores certainly have changed what they offer, but fruits and vegetables and some of that healthy food is just so much more expensive is, now. So to is. be able to it's very expensive. bring it to the dollar store, I don't know how that business model works, mm -hmm. um, but I thought was interesting about this research was the researchers actually took to the road. They took to the road in the rural south mm -hmm. down in Alabama. They took to the road in the rural um, areas of New York, New York. State mm -hmm. and saw for themselves just this huge increase in dollar stores and what people are using to buy them. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, it's certainly something to think about as we continue to confront this obesity crisis in our country. Well, the obesity crisis and then also, too, I mean, inflation, you know, yep. with food prices mm -hmm. that are only continuing to go up. As mm -hmm. We were just talking about the price of eggs, you yeah. know, and, you know, right. it's so hard to be able to afford those things. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people may, a lot of people, more people may be, you know, going to options that are not as healthy, mm -hmm. right. but it's also cheaper at the same yeah. time. Right. Yeah.